people there just not worried about it, Cal? Are they not worried about their own personal safety? Yeah, how are these people not worried enough? Have they not watched enough of our fear-mongering? I haven't met anybody who is, but they'll quickly add at the same time, this is a place that relies on that business. I think people here want a little bit more funding when it comes to these programs so that they could stay closed. But again, I think people felt like the Supreme Court made the decision here in Wisconsin that it was time to open up. But you can see here, just around. Nobody's wearing them. Nobody's, uh, the there you go, including the cameraman. Yeah. Katie. Welcome back, everyone. Real quick, I just wanted to thank all my donators, my Subscribestar, and Patreon subscribers. I just wanted to quickly address some feedback I've been getting about the paid ads in the video. First off, I'm not beholden to any of these people for what I say. I can say whatever I want to. Second, ads are annoying. I get it. But just keep in mind that these people are supporting my channel and other channels like it in the face of YouTube suppression. Now, back to that MSNBC propagandist hack. As we've come to expect from those that see themselves as our betters, this MSNBC reporter was in the midst of producing an anti-American hit piece when somebody in the crowd walks by and points out that the MSNBC crew aren't wearing any masks. Well, one of the guys does, the other two don't. Acknowledging he's been exposed, the pretend reporter drops his head in shame. It's just hilarious to me that they think so little of these people that they're sitting there accosting them to their faces while they themselves aren't wearing masks. Well, I guess the reporter is wearing a mask as long as the cameras are on. Sorry for interrupting. We'll get right back into the video. But remember those ads I told you about? This episode sponsor is Orion Metals, and they have a free offer for my subscribers. What will your savings in retirement look like once we've declared victory over the virus? With stocks already down 30% from their all-time highs, no one has the answers. Did you know that it took nearly eight years for the markets to recover after the 2008 housing bubble crash? Yet during the crash of 2008, gold and silver surged to all-time highs. Do you really have eight years to wait for a recovery? Many Americans use this little-known IRS qualified loophole that allows Americans to buy gold and silver with their retirement accounts. And the good guys at Orion Metal Exchange offer a no-fee transfer in as little as two days on most accounts. Accounts. Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, and Citigroup all see gold soaring, forecasting $2,000 an ounce for gold. Some experts are calling for gold to double in the next year. Orion Metal Exchange is Consumer Affairs' top-rated gold IRA dealer. At Orion, you get more precious metals for your money. Call today and request a free investment kit below. Mention Drone Tech Politics and get a free one-ounce silver coin for qualified retirement account holders. Must be over 40 to qualify. Call 866-915-5053 and get your free investment guide today. At Orion, you get more precious metals for your money every day. Nobody's wearing them. Nobody's, uh, the there you go, including the cameraman. Yeah. We've seen over and over again with these reporters that when they think the cameras are off, the masks come off. Um, and I like your pink blazer, Caitlin. Thank you. Can you at the White House? Can you tell us what this Demographics, no matter where they are, citing how important that is. She also touched on Lollapalooza. No like I said, though, this is what we've become accustomed to. Politicians who lecture the country while they themselves abide by their own set of standards. My husband made a failed attempt at humor last week when checking in with the small business that helps with the, our boat and dock up north. Knowing it wouldn't make a difference, he jokingly asked if marrying, if being married to me might move him up in the queue. <laughs> of course, it was just a joke, an accident, a mistake. Or how about all the fake self-important journalists who preach one thing on the air, but do another in everyday life. Like Jonathan Carl from ABC News, who tattletailed on Fox News' John Roberts about not wearing a mask even though he had been wearing a mask, and even though he himself was caught not wearing a mask while getting tacos in public. Actors pretending to be press corps, wearing the mask on camera, and calling people out who aren't wearing masks, but ripping them off the second they think the cameras are off. They complain that the American people are getting mixed messages while not at all acknowledging that the damage they're doing is much worse. They're just adding to the overall distrust people have of these institutions, and they're tearing the country 
part in the process. Don't believe me? How about the former president of CBS News? He wrote an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal on Monday, calling out the media for their brazen bias and transparently uncredible claims of objectivity. The liberal-leaning media has passed its tipping point. News organizations that claim to be neutral have long been creeping leftward, and their loathing of Mr. Trump has accelerated the pace. For too many journalists, objectivity, balance, and fairness, once the gold standard of reporting, are not mandatory in a divided political era in a country they believe to be severely flawed. These things are self-evident. Like he points out, they've given up trying to hide it. He goes on to say he doesn't think the media is going to change because they're proud of what they do and who they are. The fact is the people who do watch them now wouldn't anymore if they stopped being part of the resistance. He goes on to say something that I've been saying for a long time, that this will all lead to the breakup of this country and an inevitable conflict. Although he doesn't describe it in such stark terms, saying, quote, Journalism affects social cohesion. Convinced of its role and legitimacy, however, the media doesn't seem to much care. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. It's a great way to support this channel. If you'd like to support this channel further, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all those links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.